Why does it feel like every year we get yet another reimagining of Batman? Don't get me wrong. I love Batman. I have a lot of great memories being a kid watching reruns of the original live action show with Adam West has the caped crusader. Flash forward to 1989, I was working in a movie theater popping popcorn <laughs> and selling milk duds for the premiere of Tim Burton's Batman, which of course featured Jack Nicholson has the Joker fighting Michael Keaton. When Keaton returned in Batman Returns, I was in the balcony cheering him on. And as far as I'm concerned, no other Batman movies were made <laughs> until 2005, when Christopher Nolan got off to a kind of rocky start with Batman Begins. I actually thought Christian Bale was a hell of a good choice to play the caped crusader. 2008's The Dark Knight is to me perhaps the finest story and depiction of Batman against the Joker in Heath Ledger that we will ever get. I was extraordinarily skeptical of Ben Affleck, and it really wasn't until last year's Snyder Cut of the Justice League that I became 100% convinced that Ben Affleck absolutely was Batman the way he needed to be played. I would be very happy, as a matter of fact, if we were going to get Ben Affleck again, maybe as a more mature Batman, Batman in some of the more advanced storylines, because I think he has done a great job of capturing that character. No, <laughs> we can't have nice things current year. Warner Brothers decided to yet again swap out the character with a very well-known franchise that was very much on the rebound after the release of the Snyder Cut, and try as he might, Robert Pattinson will always be a sparkly vampire. I, I don't mean any dis- well, maybe I do. He was great in the Harry Potter movie, The Goblet of Fire. He did some really good work in some crazy ass movie called The Lighthouse where he and Willem Dafoe got drunk and lost their minds in, yes, you guessed it, a lighthouse period piece. What the hell does that have to do with Batman? Well, Warner Brothers is rebooting the DC universe and Batman is at the top of that list. Now, all of us have heard some really great gossip, which if true, Robert Pattinson, you, my friend, are an animal. All of those lurid details around what did or did not happen on the hood of the Batmobile aside, the new movie drops March 4th of this year. The article comes to us from Cosmic Book News, and it is entitled The Batman Preview Images, Robert Pattinson, Riddler, Catwoman, and Penguin. Now, all of us have seen previous incarnations of the Batman and his rogues gallery of villains in previous films. But like I said, I, I don't consider those movies to exist. The real question everyone has had since we have heard of the casting of Robert Pattinson to play the Caped Crusader is number one, why? And number two, what exactly is he going to bring to this fabled role? If you have not checked it out, go look at the trailer they dropped a couple of weeks ago. To me, it looks like a 70s gritty early Martin Scorsese approach. It's got kind of an emo thing going on I'm not crazy about. It also features Zoe Kravitz has Catwoman. Paul Dano has the Riddler, who if you've seen the pictures... Oh my God. And then of course we also have Colin Farrell, who is virtually unrecognizable from the stills, has the penguin. So what is the title of this 
Batman film? Well, they're just going to call it Batman, and it's directed by Matt Reeves. Now, why would you know that name if you saw the movie Cloverfield and both Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War for the Planet of the Apes? He was director and writer for those. And previously, he was executive producer of the television show Felicity. And it's worth bearing in mind <laughs> that he worked very closely with Mr. Magical Bullshit Mystery Box himself, J.J. Abrams, which in my opinion is cause for caution. So what we know from this movie is it claims that it is not an immediate early origin story, but rather after Patman has been Batman for about two years, Patman will have established himself very firmly as the sole embodiment of vengeance among his fellow citizens of Gotham City. His trusted manservant, Alfred, is being played by Andy Serkis, who of course you know from playing Gollum in the Lord of the Rings movies, as well as his own directing and writing and acting work. Lieutenant Gordon will be played by Jeffrey Wright, who, let's be honest, has been in so many damn things, I don't need to tell you who he is. So I'm not going to go fully into spoilers, I'm just going to give you an overview. A killer is targeting Gotham's elite in a sadistic way and leaving a trail of breadcrumbs for Batman, sorry, Batman to investigate. He encounters Catwoman, played again by Zoe Kravitz, as well as the Penguin, again played by Colin Farrell, Carmine Falcone, played by John Turturro, and Edward Nashton, aka the Riddler, played by Paul Dano, who apparently they needed to make look like the Zodiac Killer which is for me why I'm kind of getting that gritty Mean Streets Scorsese vibe from all of this. Again, if you haven't seen it, please go check out the trailer and I'm not shilling for anybody. I just would love for you to check that out and then leave a comment on this video. Now, I have been suspect of all of this for a long time. I, there's a lot of damn drama that went on with this production. A lot of rumors were Robert Pattinson was it almost fired. There was the thing with him and let's just say Catwoman potentially getting it on on the Batmobile. And then of course this spread, I think it was an Esquire magazine where Robert Pattinson was either doing an epic troll of all of us Batman fans or being a manifestation of everything all of us thought of him before this when he said he wasn't working out or doing anything to get in shape or ready to play the iconic role of Batman. And of course that triggered a lot of people that I follow and watch on YouTube. Where do I stand on all this? I don't have high expectations. And my reason why is not limited to Robert Pattinson. It has to do with Warner Brothers being probably, in my opinion, the most incompetent, idiotic, shooting self in foot studio out there. Do you all remember when the Snyder Cut was released? Now, I am not a big Snyder person, but damn, I loved the Snyder Cut of Justice League. What did Warner Brothers do within 48 hours of all of the fans going to HBO Max to watch it and crashing their servers? Well, what they always do in current year Hollywood, they call this istophobes and right wing and you know the playbook. It has been a long time since we put up with the flack over not liking what The Last Jedi was and yet they keep using that same busted ass playbook. Will the movie be woke? I don't know. Probably. Will... Batman, I mean, Batman be a beta. I don't know. I hope not. What do you think? Are you going to go see this thing? Are you excited about Robert Pattinson playing Batman? What do you think about all those crazy rumors and all of the drama around this? Especially the fact that 
Matt Reeves, the director, was air quotes quoted as saying if Robert Pattinson didn't get his act together, he was going to fire his ass off this production. Is this all just press release churn to generate interest in the movie or was this thing troubled? What do you think about them kicking Ben Affleck to the curb? Has ever? This is Salty Texas C. I am Corey DB. You have an awesome weekend. Thanks for watching. Oh, and one more thing. I now have channel memberships. I'm not good at like shilling. If you like what I do and you want to support the, uh, the channel, take a look. It's under my community section, memberships. I'd love to have you on board and be my wolf brother or my wolf sister.